Good day, everyone. I uh, thought I'd do a little bit of a video about testing fuel pumps. Um, I see it all the time. I get people ask me, <coughs> you know, what's wrong with my vehicle, and, and I suggest this technique for, for, for checking your fuel pumps. This one actually happens to be a, a V6 Surf, or Forerunner for in America. Uh, the vehicle isn't that important in most cases. Uh, uh, the technique is the is the way. So this vehicle actually came had, has a little bit of an idle issue. Had an, had an idle issue. So I removed the EGR valve and got rid of that. Blanked it off, and the idle's pretty well right, but it still lacks power a little bit. They're not the most uh, wonderful vehicle in the world, but they normally go better than this one. Had the scan to win, just to check a few bits and pieces, and I suspected after driving it that, that their mixture was a bit lean. Uh, I've had a quick check for air leaks on the intake manifold. So I'm just going to show you first start, we're going to fire it up, and I'll just show you the oxygen sensor, and then we'll move on to checking the fuel pump. So I had the scan tool attached, and what I, it was just saying it was lean all the time. So I came into, I, I put my, my probe here into OX1 in the diagnostic box. And what you'll see is if I bring it up, if I give it a rev, it will actually show some, oh it's showing a little bit of voltage. So it is actually showing some voltage. I might be able to dust in a bit of extra fuel. And see if we can get some voltage happening. And there we go, you see the auction sensor is actually, when I give it some fuel, it does actually come up in voltage. I would like to see up to one volt if I get it really rich. But you can see, if I give it just a little bit of more mixture, the engine idles even nicer again. So, from that test, we can see the auction sensor is functioning to some degree. It still might be a bit tired. The vehicle's done 240,000 Ks, might be the original one. It's certainly been in there a long time, the bolts are rusted and seized on. But we're going to check the fuel flow next. So I've located the return line, comes out of the fuel pressure regulator, runs along through this steel tube, and it pops out over here. And this works for, for all return type vehicles. And if you're using a return list off the bottom of the regulator, so I slip the hose on, we're going to grab the timer. We'll flick in the, the old uh, clock here. Got the stopwatch, and I need a container, a measured container. Just happen to have a jug here. So I put the line into the container, and we start the vehicle, and start the timer. And straight away we can see that it is quite a pathetic dribble. So we're going to run this for 30 seconds. So at this point, most of the fuel is coming out the return line. The injectors are going for three milliseconds, probably about a one, one and a half duty cycle, percent duty cycle. We're up to 20. So watching that timer, watching that dribble of fuel. And that was about 30 seconds. We have a look. When I, when I keep it still, maybe, maybe 300 mils if I was feeling really generous on it. <coughs> so that's 600 mils a minute. Um, that isn't going to run the engine very well at all. Um, times 60, 36 litres an hour. So 
that really needs to be, I would like to see 100 on this vehicle. If it was a, a V8 Lexus, I'd want to see 120. So basically, that fuel pump's got an issue. It needs to be uh, replaced, most likely. Uh, we probably should check the fuel filter first. Um, and it should get a new fuel filter when you put a new fuel pump in anyway. So we're going to look at that. So that's a really simple way of, of checking your fuel flow. Uh, I'm aiming for, I'd like to see a litre. When I'm doing a, a V8, a litre in 30 seconds. Two litres a minute, 120 litres an hour, nice and simple. So 300, pro, 300 mils probably isn't enough. I hope that's helpful. Um, I might even do a test afterwards and we'll see how this one comes up. Um, I don't have time right now to change the fuel pump, but that will get done in the, in the next little while. Talk to you later.